I'm right. Girls, can I ask what you think of Daddy's cuts? They're gross. <laughs> what do you think, Mummy? I reckon it looks like you've got a twinkle in your eye about injuring yourself and you're pretty happy with your war wounds. Yucky, yucky, yeah. Tough guy. Yucky, yucky, gross. I don't think you've taken this much footage of your kids before in your life, but you're pretty proud of these war wounds. Oh, it's disgusting. That's, that's the juicy one. Yeah, and look how then... proud you are of it. Well, yeah, it's good to have a touchdown every now and then. Well, makes you feel a lot, makes you feel alive, yeah. touchdown oh, on the concrete. That, yeah, that's the one there. It hurts the most because there's a big chunk taken out of it. That one there. So the bike's actually not too bad after the fall. We've got a bit of grazing on the handlebars here. You can see, and it's no longer a 105, it's a, it's a 05, Shimano 05. And just on the um, rear skewer, that's been grazed up a bit. And the handlebars, it's completely, you can't really see from that angle. Yeah, there you go, crooked handlebars. Are you okay to be on film? Well, it's been two days since I crashed my bike and I'm wondering how my presence has been around the house. You've been an absolute shithead. That's very nice. It's what you true though. That? You've been so angry and grumpy and turd. Pretty much. I thought I was being a legendary husband. I was empathic for a little while, but he actually went for a ride the next morning and that ruined my empathy. It yeah. ruined my chance. If you had have actually rested up the day after you got back, instead of going for a ride, I could have had a lot more empathy, but you smashed it up for me. And then you've been a little- Is that, is that why you've been, um, I didn't even know this. Now you're opening up on video. That's why you've been giving me death stares. <laughs> no, I'm just keeping away from you. Okay. And you are not nice. What do you mean I'm not nice? So enough of the fun and games, let's take a look at the crash now, but I've got to warn you, if you're up for seeing like a hardcore crash like me, come off my bike and slice myself apart, it's probably not the video for you. This is more about a lesson that I learned from coming off my bike that I want to share with you right now. So welcome to my backyard. Kids have just been in the pool and I'm sitting here with one of my new favorite beers, Tui's Old Dark Ale. And it's helping me numb the pain that I'm now getting from some of these scratches, elbow, legs, hips are worst, but that's covered up at the moment. And what I thought I'd do in this video is this first time I've ever captured a crash on my GoPro. In fact, this is only the second time I've ever come off in a criterium. And I guess reflecting on the footage, looking at it, it almost just looks like I've just come off my bike out of nowhere, but when you actually slow down the footage, you'll see that um, a rider in front of me has come off his line, probably only about four or five inches, but because it's happened so rapidly and because I was super close to the wheel, whilst going through a bit of a chicane, so we were, it was, I wasn't a full blown corner, but definitely had the bike on an angle. I sort of, as soon as the tires touched and rubbed, I hit the deck really hard. So. I wanted to break it down and show you in slow-mo, I've got my computer here in front of me, what actually happened and what I've learned from it. So I'm just gonna press play here and the rider in front of me, his name is Armani Drake. He's from Pro Racing Sunshine Coast. And you'll see as we're going around this slight chicane, he tilts his head ever so slightly. And as he's tilting his head to the right, looking around, his Rear wheel moves out to the left. I'd probably say, as you slow down the footage, about four to five inches, but it happens so quickly. And then you can hear the sound of tires rubbing. I'm just over and hit the deck straight away at about 45, 46 kilometers an hour. And I hit really hot, steamy concrete. I put the um, temperature gauge in there for a reason about 34 degrees and it was about would have been would have happened about you know 20 25 minutes into the race and it was a hot and steamy day gets super bright and hot up here on the sunshine coast by the time you're hitting 9 30 10 it's like a steamboat out there and i guess i was probably feeling a little bit of fatigue as well first crit in two months 
and hot humid condition it didn't feel like a really hard crit it didn't feel like a Glenvale on a windy day nothing like that but I think the heat sort of amplifies your fatigue and perhaps I wasn't concentrating um, and as you can see I, I sort of don't follow his wheel coming out of um, the sort of the straight there and then I jump on it put in a bit of effort not thinking clearly too close to the wheel now I, when I came off I've actually just blamed myself I thought I was way too close to the wheel there stupid thing to do and as you'll see I dusted myself off bike was actually okay fell to the left not to the right so I didn't bend the derailleur or anything like that and then just got back up and started riding the first thing Amani did and it just proves what a legendary bloke he was he came up and he said mate I'm so sorry for chopping your wheel he works at a local bike shop here on the Sunshine Coast cycles only said mate bring it in I'll fix up your bar tape I'll pay for whatever and I'm like mate I thought it was my fault so this video isn't really a blame game by any means um, because I actually originally thought it's my fault too close to the wheel then he thought it was his fault because he came out quite rapidly as we were cornering but only really a short distance I mean five inches isn't a lot but when you're super close to the wheel five inches can be the difference between coming off and and not so in this instance I was too close so ultimately the lesson that I've learned here is in recent times, I've really been trying to hone into my criterium skills. And one of those is to conserve energy. You don't want to be dropping wheels like you saw me do. And you want to be getting close enough to the wheel where you're safe, but also you're conserving considerable energy. And I think some of the better bike riders out there can get up really close. And if they get in a situation like that, they could probably save themselves. My bike handling skills are average. They're not elite by any means. And perhaps an elite bike rider could have saved himself in that instance, or perhaps he wouldn't have even got that close. So it's just made me recognize that, yes, you need to conserve energy. Yes, you need to be close to the wheel, but your safety is more important. And while I didn't break a bone and I didn't hit my head, so I'm super lucky in that regard, as my wife pointed out, I came home on Sunday, I was super energized. It's like all these um, natural drugs in your body that get released when you hit the deck and you hurt yourself quite significantly. And yesterday I wasn't too bad, I got up for a ride, but then today because i haven't really slept well the last couple of nights i've been an absolute prick and i'm feeling a little bit better now cooling down having a beer and having a chat with you but i know i'm probably going to be like this tomorrow and the next day and just slowly improve but it's very frustrating my hand here i can hardly put my hand in the sink and wash things you know putting pants on hurts the kids constantly bumping me like just all these small things throughout the day it's very frustrating so you know it's a lesson learned could have been a lot worse i'm lucky it wasn't and the thing is this stuff happens you know bike riding makes you feel like a kid again and that includes getting scabs all over your elbows and your legs so it's not going to stop me from racing a crit i might sit out this one this coming sunday but there's one in girawim which is my local area following sunday hope to get down for that in fact i hope to film that and i hope to catch you in the next video